Whether or not we like to admit it, it's quite possible that old school RuneScape would not have existed without the evolution of combat. No, God! For most of us, it's just a faint, painful memory. However, I found a video on an old hard drive that I made of my first impressions of the evolution of combat. It's clear in the video that I was pretty optimistic about it. Having spent so much time in RuneScape, I really didn't want that time to go to waste understandably and so I wanted to give it a fair try and I didn't immediately dog it or quit you can tell that I was not very psyched about the update anyway let's see what I had to say about it okay today I'm gonna to be talking about my initial thoughts of uh, the evolution of combat so basically, the evolution of combat is a massive rework that Jagex has done to RuneScape in which the entire combat system is redone. It's caused a lot of people to quit so far. I've noticed that a lot of worlds are empty and uh, a lot of people have definitely expressed their distaste for it. So one thing I want to talk about is uh, the new combat level which to me is a little awkward and it's kind of hard to get used to because uh, Black Demons used to be like level 192 or something, 172. Um, now they're level 140 and I'm 173. And before they used to have like 80 combat levels on me, but now they're lower than me. So it's little things like that that get a little confusing. Like you can see over here, uh, the Poisonous Spider is now level 90. Originally, they were like 42 or 63 or something like that. The levels kind of skipped around a little bit, and that can be awkward and hard to get used to. Still adjusting. Uh, 200 is the max level. I don't know what the lowest level is. I think it might be 1. I'm not sure. One thing that I absolutely love is that any weapon can give you experience in anything. So now you can use your whip to train strength. Spears can be used to train strength. So you can use any weapon to train anything you want, which I absolutely love. And basically you get set up with uh, a little action bar. So uh, you get these abilities, um, and you can press the hotkeys to use these abilities. A lot of the abilities, to me, are pretty much the exact same, and you get uh, like the same abilities for uh, your attack and strength together, which is kind of weird. So you see under, I have my attack abilities and also my strength abilities. Now they're slightly different, but most of them are pretty much the same. And you get your ranged abilities, your magic abilities, and uh, your defense and hit points abilities. Overall, I like it. Uh, and a lot of people really didn't like it initially just because people are afraid of change and they're afraid of things they don't understand. And what happened was when I initially logged in, a lot of people were pissed off and they hated it. And a couple days later, they said, you know what, hey, um, I'm kind of getting used to it and I kind of like it. I don't like the new healing system at all, the new hit points, because um, frankly, I don't understand it. I don't know how I have, you know, 6,750 health. Uh, and I guess I, yeah, I mean, I don't really get where the health comes from. And the eating is a little weird and it seems like food is a little unbalanced. Because I think my monkfish proportionally heal less than what it would normally. But you know, overall I don't think it's too bad. Uh, it seems like hitting is really inconsistent as far as sometimes when I fight a black demon I'll completely destroy it. And other times, like now, I won't hit it at all. It's almost hit or miss, it seems like. And to me, PvP is ruined. It's really unbalanced because essentially the combat triangle is, you know, it's more prominent than ever in the fact that if you're melee and you fight a, a mage then he's pretty much going to destroy you and you have no say in it unless you're pretty good or you're a lot higher level and you know and it works the same uh melee will pretty much always destroy rangers and you know the combat triangle has just become really really prominent to me that's really crappy because now i can't even hit a mage and he constantly hits me PVM makes a little more sense, and it's a little more interesting. Originally, while playing the beta, I thought that I thought that PVM would be really easy, and it would become a lot more interesting, because one of my biggest complaints with RuneScape is that you pretty much just click and wait, and it's really boring, because it's a pretty much completely AFK game. But I later found out that uh, 
even with the action bars where you're pretty much forced to participate in fighting is actually pretty much just as boring. You know, right now it's still in kind of a primordial state and I think there's a few bugs to be worked out. One thing that's interesting about PVM, player versus monster, is that it goes by a lot faster and you can definitely kill things a lot quicker. However, it seems like I'm, you know, pretty much losing the same amount of health as I would. For Slayer, you can go through a Slayer task pretty quickly, or at least more quickly. Another great thing is that adrenaline stacks, so you can gain some momentum going between targets, so if you get a lot of adrenaline on one, then you can unleash one of your ultimate abilities on your next target, which is really helpful, again, for Slayer and especially for like training. There's a few aesthetic changes that I really like. For instance, the way you stand uh, is a lot cooler because now you don't have your weapon out all the time and you have it kind of slung over your back or to your side or whatever, which to me is really cool. One thing that's always really exciting is there's a lot of new armor and requirements out. Um, which to me is cool, because uh, it's not just, you know, stuff like Torva or some impossible to get stuff. You know, it's pretty basic armor that you can get, which is really cool, and it's always exciting. But it is a little complicated at first, and it's a pretty shaky start, but I think eventually we'll get used to it. And it seems, it seems pretty unbalanced right now. PvP for me is not going so great. I think part of it is that I'm not using the right weapons. I'm basically using the same weapons that I was before the update. It seems like a lot of people changed up their uh, changed up their weapons and whatever uh, to get the best bonuses. And I haven't really optimized my armor or anything like that. Well, I think I got to play around with that a little more. My initial thoughts are it's pretty cool. One thing that does suck is it's all multi-combat, and I'm not entirely sure the experience grant works for that. Uh, I don't know if it gives both players experience or only one, whoever does the most damage. But it's really bad news because uh, people can use cannons everywhere now. So if someone's taking all the kills with their cannon everywhere you go and you don't get any experience, then that's pretty awful. And they need to do something about that. But right now, I'm not entirely sure how that whole thing's going to work. But yeah, I mean, so far I like it. I think it's really interesting and it's really made me want to play RuneScape some more. So those are my initial thoughts. Thanks for watching. Thank God eight years ago I recorded that highly energetic and descriptive video. Obviously, I really didn't go into all that much in depth of exploring EOC, and it was really just my impressions of the combat system at first. I don't think I liked it, I, it never grew on me. I think it was just hard to take a huge change like that. I have to admit, RuneScape more than anything has made me more paranoid of a game getting a massive change that really affects the game style. And it's, uh, it's really a weird thing. I don't know any games that have gone through such a drastic change that I have played personally. So it's pretty crazy for like an entire combat system of a game to be reworked. Obviously, it didn't fare too well. I think old school RuneScape is doing substantially better than regular RuneScape right now. Uh, because let's face it, this is what we fell in love with. This is the game that we signed up for. Evolution of Combat is just a whole nother subject. Uh, obviously, a lot of people didn't take to it, and the rest is history. Anyway, I'm glad I found that video and could share it with you. I know it was an awful video, but if you watched the whole thing, thank you. And thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, comment, or subscribe if you want to see more. Check out the links in the description. I have all my social media as well as some RuneScape goodies that you can buy if you want some. I'll see you later, gamers.